What is up everybody? This your buddy Ebot Guy. Today I got another video and it's a kind of a it's not really in a bad way, but as y'all see right now, I'm here with the Tommy Bite icon. And uh well what this is about part one, this is part one about uh repairing the Tommy Bite icon. Uh fortunately the bad news really about this is that I blew up the QS273. Now it was it's my fault. Um, I believe I had a bad tune on the far driver controller. Um, I think I set the PID parameters. If people that are seeing this and know about the tuning software of the far driver controller, um, the LM, I think I set that down a little too low. Um, I thought I was experiencing some jitterish or jittering and a little bit of vibration. And I sawed it down. I went from 22 to 16, and went from 16 to 14, and I think from there to 12. And I think uh, what happened was, um, well, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was running. I was already riding a bike already. So, so what I before I was interrupted, and because um, uh, they had stepped in and get some clothes. But anyway, so I was already riding it hard, and was riding the neighborhood, you know. Uh, not crazy, not reckless, anything like that, but just, you know, everyday riding and, you know, from some really fast accelerations. Well, anyway, so I happened to catch up with a Dodge Challenger that was pretty modified, and I wanted to see what the time bike can do. Well, well, <laughs> so I was behind him, and uh, that was a slower car in front of us, and when that slower car made a left turn um, back on Lake Avenue, uh, that's when the Dodge Challenger took off. We had there was no incoming traffic heading uh, towards us, and there was nobody behind us or nobody in front of us. So I accelerated. I put on mode two and I accelerated, and I was I, I was right behind him, and I was about to pass him, and he was waving his hand out the window like, "Come on, come on." <laughs> And as soon as I was about to pass him, the motor, it, it, it felt like the regen was activated by itself. That's what happens. And then when it, and I had no throttle, like, like it was, the, no, no, what I'm saying is like the e-brake activated by itself. So it slowed me down. I was like, oh shoot, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, dang, what could have happened? So the bike was still on. So I know the battery was good. I looked down, the phase wires was all smoking, like it was, I literally was getting on fire. Um, the hub motor was really hot. So I was thinking that, yep, yep, I think I uh, blew it. So it had resistance. Um, I should, I would do some measurements, um, not measurements, but a, a reading on the phase wires. And I'm gonna show you, um, all three phases are short. They're, they're you know what I'm saying? And, um, but like I was saying, it's my fault. And, you know, like I, this is another thing. Like we're we're, you know, we all humans. You know, we all make mistakes, and I make mistakes in life. And then you know, uh, having a set bike like this, especially an expensive motor like this, to to burn up on something uh, a, a human error, you know, that's it's really crucial to somebody that's you know low income. And a lot of people think being a, being, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm trying, I'm not steering away from the aspects of you know this hub motor, um, but. But a lot of people think that, you know, being monetized like YouTube is really sweet and it's really not. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm still struggling to to pay bills around here. You know what I'm saying? I got kids. You know, I got to do maintenance on cars. And I got e-bikes and stuff like that. So all that takes a, a lot of toll, you know. But but being, you know, being me on low income, you know what I'm saying, the struggle is real. I'm going to tell you all right now, the struggle is real. And... You know, I have to, you know, I have to wait for, you know, maybe a month, you know what I'm saying, to get a new motor. But fortunately, we're not going to replace the whole motor. We're going to replace the stator. Uh, my suppliers will actually go give me a stator to uh, to actually um, uh, put in the hub motor. And also, I got a rim that I'm going to be replacing too. This was a little bit on the warp side. So, I got a rim in the shed. I'm going to replace that and I'm going to lace this up and... Um, so we're gonna get this bike back on the road. Unfortunately, we, fortunately we're gonna get it back on the road, but it's just a little set bike. So I was gonna let you know that that's what happened. Um, that we're gonna repair in the time by Icon, and it was my fault. It was nothing, got nothing to do with uh, running hard or anything like that. I was just it was a, a tuning, the tuning 
error with no sense that I made. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, bite the bullet on this one and go into my savings and go ahead and fix it, you know. Um, but yeah, so that that is this is this part one of this the uh, replacing the stator on the time by icon the QS273 and uh, what we're going to do on part two what we're going to be doing we're going to be taking the wheel off and we're going to be snatching the stator out and uh, we're going to be actually we're going to be um, taking the, the the hub the hub part out of the rim and hopefully we can go ahead and lace that rim up to uh, to this motor the new rim up to the motor uh, and then uh, wait for the stator to come in, pop it in, and then um, we got to shorten the phase wires up and everything. So let me go ahead, before I go, let me go ahead and show you what it's doing right quick. All right, so I still have to cut some of the phase wires down on the on the e-bike or the time bike icon. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get those cut up uh, so I can actually get the get access to the phase wires. And that way I can, we can go ahead and uh, do a short, I mean, and read it read it so um i'll show you that it's reading short so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna uh turn the camera around uh so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna go ahead and uh get some because i already disconnect the um battery cables and stuff so i don't uh worry about anything getting uh getting short from the battery so i'm just gonna unravel the tape and then like i'm saying guys so you know this you know, I was I was really depressed, you know what I mean? Like, dang, because, you know, these motors, these motors are not cheap, you know, and I should have known better, you know, tuning the uh, those parameters because my supplier was already saying that um, that's a risk. I, I might be burning the uh, motor or the controller, but thank God it wasn't the controller because I'm actually getting this stator um, for half price, so... So that that is uh, that is good news. So I, I don't have to spend uh, almost a thousand dollars to uh, replace this uh, hub, the whole hub motor. But anyways, I'm gonna get the tape out, get the tape off this um, these uh, phase wires right quick, and uh, so we can um, I can access access the uh, wires. And, and, and you know what? I didn't mess with it. I didn't really mess with it uh, for a couple of days because of the fact that, you know, I was thinking like how in the world I'm going to be able to get, you know, send a pay or to get you no know, money up to pay for a new motor. And uh, so I was thinking about, you know, maybe a 40H or, you know, I mean a 50H motor, but it said that wouldn't work. So I'm still, you know, I'm still, you know, with the QS273 and then, then we was talking about the, the parameters I had changed and they was like, well, that, that probably been, you know, you probably messed up by doing that. So I was like, dang, I didn't know. So, so yeah, I mean, it, you know, and, I, and another thing too, when you go, when you, when you go on those forums, those uh, farm drive forums on Facebook, uh, they ain't really much help on them, especially me. That might be help to other people that maybe more that has more um uh, what do you call senior uh senior uh dang uh seniority that's what it is yeah so you know or people that's popular you know what i mean like you know they're well known and stuff like that you know they might get more help than i am you know what i mean so but there was no help at all when i was having trouble with the controller um it was like i say it was doing some jittery it really jerky but i'm suspecting the throttle was was um was bad so we're actually let me hold on one minute that's my boy roy hey what's up i am um i was doing a video on uh taking my hub motor apart uh i'm actually i'm actually taking the the phase wires out um no no that it's bad i'm i'm getting a short all three phase so i'm doing it i'm doing a video just to show uh the people that that um i'm getting a short on the face on the face side of the uh controller i mean uh, on the motor so i'm not just taking everything out what are you doing just uh 
Oh, yeah, and I was going to go get that bike, though, man, but Cody called me and said there was a fire going across the street. You heard me? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, um... What do you mean, like in the business? Yeah, right across the street from us. Uh -huh. That's how hot it been. Like, like unless somebody, somebody, um pulled the cigarette I think somebody you know lit a cigarette or something and and it, it just uh was so hot that it lit the, the grass on fire that's what I'm thinking dang you still working dang all right yeah because I'm gonna bring bring some stuff over whenever uh, we can't when I can't or whenever we get home Okay, all right. I see. So, anyways, guys, so that was that was my boy Roy. Uh, Y'all seen him a lot on YouTube, and um, like I said, we're gonna get we're gonna get this tape off. I I have a lot of tape on this on these wires, just be, just to uh, protect them. And um, I think the phase. Oh uh, shoot! Well. I can cut them because of for one thing. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. We got them free. So, so I got my harness. So this is my harness that goes to the controller. We're gonna put that out of the way, and then I have the phase wires. I'm going to put them right here so y'all can see them. Okay. All right. So here's the phase wires. Now I'm going to be using the Tasman. This is a, uh, a handy, handy voltmeter. It does everything itself. All you gotta do is turn it on. It will read continuity, it will read voltage, and um, it has a flashlight. So this thing will, it's, it's basically it's automatic. But anyway, so we're gonna turn it on, okay? And then we're going to have it just right here. Y'all not, I know y'all not gonna see that. Um, if we can just turn, Oh yeah, y'all might be able to see that. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna be able to see that. But anyways, so I'm gonna have it right now. And uh, we're gonna just uh, uh, do the phase wires. So we're gonna do green to yellow. So it reads short. And then blue to yellow. Yeah, same thing. And then we're gonna go here to green to blue short so basically the motor is shorted out and then we have to uh, replace the motor or the stator that's what we're gonna be doing but anyways um but yeah um that that is it though this is gonna be just part one we're gonna have three parts so we're gonna have the part two of us even fix of us fixing the motor or the wheel and uh try to get it back on and then three is gonna be actually um uh, riding it so I'm gonna be also I'm gonna be switching out the um, domino throttle for a Sauron throttle because I did have a throttle for a long time um, ever since um, Angelo passed away I've been had that throttle and I don't know I know it has a tent chamber in it um, I believe the Sauron does too and I know that uh, it been crashed before so maybe that's where all um, it was not smooth the acceleration is not smooth. I can hold it at a steady throttle, and it feels like it's um, it's kind of feel like it's choking. You know, like if you compare that to a gasoline dirt bike, it feels like the it feels like it, it's it's uh, like the gasoline got water in it. It's like dun, 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 like it, you know, like a misfire. You know what I mean? So that's what the throttle was feeling like on the uh, on the icon. So. I'm hoping the throttle might be the issue. I know it's not the AN, the um, PID, the LM side of the parameters because I did it did it was humming, but then when I went down low, it it stopped the humming. But I think I went too low, and I think that's when the um, motor burned up on it because the fade wire was so hot that it was steaming, um, literally like it was about to catch on fire. So, so hopefully that's that's about it. Like I was saying. You know, this is this is the risk we take. Especially, you know, these motors—they're not—they're not cheap. 
by all means. I mean, it might look like it's cheap because it's on a cheap bike frame. You know, a lot of people, this is a love and hate bike. You know, it's, I mean, to me, it's, it's not cheap. You know, because, you know, 90, uh, no, I'm not going to say 90%, but, but I say 60% of us Americans are basically working one of those nine to five jobs where they're not living the paycheck to paycheck. Well, I mean, I'm not living the paycheck to paycheck, but, um, I can't just go out and just buy a, a motor like that. You know, I don't have it like that. You know what I'm saying? I wish I did, you know, but like I say, the motor's not cheap. Battery's not cheap. I mean, they're, they're, the stuff is trending, you know, it's, it's a supply and demand. And, you know, when they, you know, companies see stuff like that, they're going to raise the prices. I remember when those models sell the P42As, I remember when I first built my tummy bike, the, the original one, that was like $3 some change, you know. Um, now, now they're 45 you know. If you go on batteryhookup.com, not battery hookup, but battery, you know, 18650 battery store, and then you go on there and price how many sales in this thing? 320 You price 320 sales, it's going to come out to be almost $1,200. Then you got to pay, then you got to pay for the shipping. So that's another shipping. Then the taxes. So you're going to be looking at around about almost 1300 just to get the sales. So then you got to work, then you got to get the, uh, the connectors, uh, depending on what you get. Um, you got to get the wiring. Um, you know, if it just it just a lot of it's just a lot of stuff to build that battery. So, you know, and then you know the motor. The motor is a, is very expensive. You know what I mean? At, at the door, it's a thousand dollars, nine hundred and eighty five dollars for the motor and the wheel, and that's fast shipping. Now, if you get it by the boat, which is going to take about a month to get get to your door, then you're looking at about maybe seven eight hundred dollars. You know, what I'm saying for the motor. But who wants to wait a month for the for the motor to come? You know what I mean? So I pay the fast shipping. You know what I mean? So I'm I want my bike running. You know, so you know. But luckily I got a supplier that's gonna, you know, that's gonna hook me up and hope we get this bike running. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go too much on a, on part one, but just letting y'all know that, you know, make dumb mistakes. You know, like I say, I still, you know, been on this for a year. Still got a lot to learn. You know, and you know and um hopefully that i learn from my mistakes and that's what i've been doing i've been learning from mistakes trial and error you know okay well i'm gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna wait to part two before i start removing this motor uh from the dropouts i'm gonna do that but i wanted to just to to sit down talk to y'all about the stuff that you know us e-bikers go through especially when this come to high performance because when it comes to high performance it gets very expensive now any or any ordinary e-bike let's just say my son's jacoy e-bike his own now his is fairly cheap so his motor blow is a 300 dollars motor so i boom i can go you know replace that anytime um batteries is not much for his so his is cheap uh but when it comes to this the icon and the junior that my son has I'm on my knees, y'all. So, <laughs> but when it comes to those two bikes, that's when stuff gets really expensive, especially the battery. Me and him got 70 amp hour batteries on our bikes, and no batteries, and, and they're with the P42As, and they're they're not cheap at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah. Anyways, so I do. I'm gonna let y'all go right now. I'm gonna let y'all go off in it. I'm gonna shut my mouth, but I, I want to say this right here. I'm going to be doing. I want to do some videos about some riding videos about what it takes to build something like this, you know, or not even like this or just any high performance e-bike, what it's going to take, how much money it's going to take to do something like this. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna have some videos about that too. Also, um, I need to get some feedback from y'all. Uh, I like to be doing like fixing those stuff, repairing stuff like that, you know, uh, and I want to know if y'all want me to, uh, include that in videos and stuff like that. So, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go. I got some more work to do. I got a, uh, another e-bike to build right quick, but I'm going to go right now. This is part one of the time by Icon repairing the uh, two QS273 hub motor. Stay tuned for part two, and uh, I will get back with y'all soon. This is the e-bike guy, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.